So I'm getting ready to open up the Navanol here. Um, you can see that it's not sitting quite uh, evenly and that's because the clay has shrunk uh, a little bit so that the air seems to be pushing out and swelling the walls of the piece. Um, I've got to open it now or it's going to want to pop. Um, I can use a fettling knife to cut the wall, um, although I prefer the control I have oops, with a small um, knife like this. Now I've got it on the wheel and I could go ahead and I'll, I'll show this with a needle tool. I could go ahead and cut um, an uh, opening that's a complete uh, I didn't get it centered, but a complete circle all the way around. But I actually like to do a cut that's a little bit more keyed. Now one way of doing a key is to do a, a cut all the way around and then have one piece come down uh, to a point like this. And uh, you can see there, that, that point there, that would fit, it would only close one way. I actually like to get a little bit more in uh, variety, I guess, in my cut. You heard that, is the air escaping there. And so I do some irregular kinds of cuts. I'm coming down at an angle into the clay and hopefully ending up at the same place I began. And now as I take this lid off of here, you see that the lid is so irregular that it would only fit on one way. I'd never try to put the lid on that way. It clearly doesn't fit that way. Um, it's real clear how that lid lines up. You can also see into the inside uh, wall of this piece, uh, all the way up into the hole where the knob is. Uh, the wall thickness stays pretty much the same, and then if you look at the interior, you can see the same thing. A little heavy, actually, on the bottom there. Um, I'm going to then uh, clean up the edges on this, and I can clean them up um, using the knife. Uh, to just trim off this extra stuff. I'm using the knife at about a 45 degree angle on that edge there. And I can do that all the way around. It's wetter on the inside, as you might imagine, than it is on the outside, because uh, it's been drying from the outside. And so the inside edge is gonna cut a little bit differently. The outside edge is gonna cut a little harder like that. Um, I can also get in there with a, a rib, with a finger. I can take care of the edge by essentially compressing it. Um, the only issue is you don't want to adjust the shape because if I, if I bend the shape of the wall, the shape of this rim on the bottom, it's not gonna match up with the top. So I'll work on that and show the results at the end. So I've trimmed up the edge. You can see it's much smoother all the way around. It's got a few little bits of clay and those can get wiped out um, once they've been dried a little bit. Um, as I put this back together, it looks like it's a uh, clear uh, indication of where it goes and uh, n nothing sharp, nothing sticking out. So this piece is all set and ready to be fired. I'll fire it with the lid on so that there's no warping that happens on the piece.